Hey, this is Morgan with Even Tech. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about setting up a small home router. Say you go to Office Depot or Walmart and pick up one of their uh, Cisco or Linksys, maybe Netgear routers. I'm going to step you through the process of the basic setup for one of those routers. So first off, you need to look at the box, the paperwork on the back of the router, and identify it probably has maybe a default IP address, uh, look for something that says that, and also a default login. So I happen to know that I'm using a Cisco Linksys E2500, and on it, its default IP address, when you open up a web browser, is going to be 192.168.1.1. Now by typing this in, it is going to take me to well, I like how it requested that. It's going to take me to uh, the router configuration screen. So, I mean, some of them have uh, utilities and stuff to use to download it. Um, I just want to go straight to the web configuration for it. So, I'm going to click um, their non special software. Yes, I know. And what this will do now to ask you for this particular model there's no username and the password is admin for a lot of other models it's admin admin some of them it's admin password um, you know you probably just have to look it up would be the easiest way um, to do that so let's change okay that's fine so not very fancy but uh, that's to be expected with a lot of these router pages, depending on um, also the age of it. I'm going to zoom that in just a little bit. So you can see this is the Linksys uh, E2500. It has some basic configurations here on this screen. Um, it, it does let you step through and do more advanced configurations. Uh, Let's see here what else might be somewhat useful. This is what is telling you what the IP address of your router is. This is the name of your router. And of course, as you step through this, um, you, you can tell it how it gets its internet connection, which in most cases it's already set up by default for that. Um, we're going to step on over to the wireless page. On the wireless page here, this is where you can set it up and you can actually make your own SSIDs, um, change that name to whatever you want it to be, and say that I want it to be, you know, test net. And then say this one, um, you know, you can name it again whatever you wanted here and you can enable or disable them um, it has when you disable it it doesn't mean that it's actually not going to broadcast uh, it, it means it's not going to broadcast out the SSID but uh, sometimes you can set up what's called a hidden SSID which allows you to still connect to that network it's just not openly visible which is uh, you know a little helpful if you're trying to be a little bit more secure around your house or you have a bunch of other internets around you you can manually specify to connect to it from a device and still get to it but it doesn't allow other people who may just be poking around trying to mess with stuff to as easily see it you can set up a guest access um, you know in a lot of cases this is pretty good if you're gonna have guests over you can set how many and you know whether or not it's broadcast and it does create some separation that just gives them internet access right here it even says without giving them access to your computers or personal data which is great uh, very very important to set up if you have a lot of guests over now as you go back through this again there's some more tabs in here firewalls enabled you know and it by default now this is not very secure you know I mean I know that it has different configurations in that we're looking at here and some of it you know looks pretty complex but you know a router that you just go to Office Depot or 
Walmart, something like that to purchase, does not have very much protection to offer someone for their home network. Um, and also, you know, they have to be updated. They're a little bit harder to manage. Um, you know, doing a managed system, maybe something like a unified system uh, or one of the Ubiquity's Amplify systems that you can actually manage from a phone app pretty easily. And uh, it gives you a whole lot more control, I feel like, and a lot more friend user-friendly interface um, than what some of these older, unchanged, less frequently updated routers can provide. But, I mean, it does have port forwarding. You know, you can do all the normal stuff that you might need to do to get, say, you know, an Xbox running optimally. You can um, DMZ a device, which... You know, if you have a security appliance that you're trying to pass this through, say, you know, this is the modem that was provided by your ISP, um, you know, you may want to set up some sort of DMZ if you are passing and want to pass all information to a more secure device that you have purchased and you don't want them to manage that. And, of course, you can go in and you definitely need to change the router password. Do not leave it the default password even if you write it down at least you have not left it as open as it is if you leave the default password I mean someone can just absolutely google the name of your router and in most cases be able to find that out without even having to touch the router itself so this is Morgan with Deven Tech we kinda walked through setting up some of the the basic information on a router here what it can and can't do what it does and doesn't provide you with um, you know there's not a whole lot to be said about them most of the time you do plug them up and they they just work and people uh, you know in a lot of cases that's good enough for them that's what they want but for someone that wants a little bit extra security um, you probably need to take uh, you know the next step up to something that's a little bit more manageable and uh, you know was definitely more security oriented, security oriented versus uh, just your standard little home router that doesn't provide you a whole lot of firewalling. You know, setting up uh, geo blocking to different countries' IP addresses so that you can only communicate to uh, countries or uh, areas that you want to. I mean, that stuff just isn't as easy to access, and in a lot of cases, isn't even offered at all. So, this is Morgan with Even Tech. We'll see you again in the next video.